In today's video, I want to talk about the current developments of AI and image generation technology, which I know has been done a lot here on YouTube already. However, I want to add to the discussion by giving you a new perspective, which I haven't heard yet so far. I want to tell you why I think AI will not beat photographers. Today I've come out here to some place between Tokyo and Yokohama because around the corner somewhere here there should be a shop that sells a wide variety of film which is something that I've been wanting to check out here in Japan and after that I'll just be heading out to Tokyo to shoot a little just digitally today and I'll let the voiceover of my past self talk about the AI topic and uh, I thought I'd just bring you along. So if you're anything like me and watch a lot of YouTube videos, which I'm guessing is the case or you wouldn't be here I suppose, I'm sure you've encountered a couple videos that discuss the issue with Midjourney, Dali and in general what has been termed AI generated art and the danger artists find themselves in now because we all now have yet another competitor. However, it's not just any competitor, but an artificial intelligence that will make stunning images that are hard to distinguish from human art simply by being fed a precise description. So now, it is possible to create basically anything one can imagine within a short time with just some words and arguably no skill. Although, of course, prompt writing is a skill in itself, but not one that is comparable to the art itself. However, is that really true? Is it really possible to create anything? Or is there maybe something that a photographer can create that AI cannot? As the question suggests, this video is strongly aimed at photographers, not artists of other kinds such as painters or 3D artists, unfortunately. The argument I'm about to present sadly only applies to the art of photography, not the other visual arts, well, filmmaking partly, but mostly just photography. If you are a visual artist outside of the photographic realm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure whether the following arguments are going to work for you, however, I will be talking about some other helpful arguments after, which do apply to non-photographic visual arts as well. So back to the question, what can a photographer create that AI cannot? The incredible power that AI wields is the ability to create anything that the human prompter can imagine and put into words. I don't really have much experience with these tools, but I've been following the progress from the sidelines a lot, and as far as I can tell, I could probably write something like, imagine a Salvador Dali style painting of Willem Verbeek riding a motorbike made out of Portra 400 film canisters on Mario Kart's Rainbow Road. And now, look at this photograph. I shot this recently, in the neighbourhood where I've been documenting a small part of Japanese culture by photographing the care the people of Tokyo put into their spaces. Now, how would you create this image using AI? You wouldn't. Because you wouldn't even have encountered the many details of the streets of Tokyo to realise a pattern that portrays a portion of Japan's culture. The key difference here is that the photograph is based on reality. It is a documentation of something real that exists in the physical world which AI was simply not made for. The purpose of AI is to create images out of our imagination. This image is not my imagination, it is something I observed and found in the real world. I never would have come up with this. This is one of the key aspects that differentiates the process of AI art and the process of photography. 
AI image generation is an imaginative process, so I first have to imagine what I want to create and then put that into words which the AI then puts into pixels. On the other hand, photography, while not always, but in this case, is a reactive process. So I see something and then I decide that is worth photographing and then I come up with the best way to picture what I want to communicate with that photograph. So that is where I see a huge advantage that photographers have over AI. Artificial intelligence will undoubtedly also affect the photography industry. In fact, I'm actually pretty sure it's going to affect nearly every industry. So for product photographers, for example, things might become difficult because companies will be able to choose between a photographer or an AI that can use multiple simple images of the product and then stage it in generated product photos. However, one of the most classic genres in which photographers earn their living are weddings, and those are a good example of something that will not be replaced by AI. That is because AI is not capable of replacing the very essence of photography, which is the capture of a real moment in time. <laughs> Photography's greatest power is the power of documentation, and AI cannot beat that. As long as cameras don't become self-reliant AI robots, the couple that is getting married is going to hire a photographer to document their special day. I know that this argument is not exactly going to solve the problem and that many aspects of photography are going to be changed by AI generated images. However, on YouTube, I've been observing a strong tendency towards doom and gloom content that just spreads pessimism among the arts community. And I don't want to support that. I want to give you a different perspective, a more hopeful one. And so now that I've explained my main arguments, let me just remind you of a couple points which I find strengthen my hope and calm my negativity. Even though I shoot both digital and film, this channel has often been called a film photography channel, proving to me that there is an interest in the medium film. There are even much better examples than me, there are far bigger channels that really are purely about film photography that prove that this medium, which was said to be obsolete with the standardization of digital cameras and is far less efficient and more costly than digital photography, still lives on and has a certain amount of relevance and popularity. Film didn't die due to the emerging of digital photography, just like paintings didn't die due to the invention of photography. And the point that I'm trying to get across is that there's always a place for us. Just like handmade items are appreciated, human-made things, especially in art, will remain appreciated, and maybe now even become more appreciated. This doesn't of course mean that things aren't going to change, they undoubtedly will. And these changes might not be good, but I find the current sentiment on YouTube a little overdramatic and dooming, which only makes us feel as insecure as ever before and see no hope in the future, which I think is a pity considering the points I explained in this video. So with that said, I really hope that I could add to this conversation and offer you another perspective and possibly even push against the negativity a little to clear the fog that is covering our hope. That's it for this week. Before I leave, I'd like to briefly thank the lovely people who are supporting me and my work on Patreon. Thank you so much. If you're interested in extra videos, Lightroom presets, or physical postcards, you can check out what I have via the link in the description. Otherwise, I also sell prints, by the way, if that is more your thing. Also, link in the description. Anyway, I wish you a good week, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, goodbye.